the great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus, In me ye may have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. One man's sin. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Achan had fostered covetousness and deception in his heart, until his perceptions of sin had become blunted, and he fell as an easy prey to temptation. Those who venture to indulge in a known sin will be more readily overcome the second time. The first transgression opens the door to the tempter, and he gradually breaks down all resistance and takes full possession of the citadel of the soul. Achan had listened to oft-repeated warnings against the sin of covetousness. The law of God, pointed and positive, had forbidden stealing and all deception, but he continued to cherish sin. As he was not detected and openly rebuked, he grew bolder. Warnings had less and less effect upon him, until his soul was bound in chains of darkness. Shame, defeat and death were brought upon Israel by one man's sin. That protection which had covered their heads in the time of battle was withdrawn. Various sins that are cherished and practiced by professed Christians bring the frown of God upon the church. The influence most to be feared by the church is not that of open oppressors, infidels and blasphemers, but of inconsistent professors of Christ. These are the ones who keep back the blessing of the Lord of Israel and bring weakness upon the church, a reproach that is not easily wiped away. Christianity is not to be merely paraded on the Sabbath and displayed in the sanctuary. It is for every day, in the week and for every place. Its claims must be recognised and obeyed in the workshop, at home and in business transactions with brothering and with the world. It is better to die than to sin, better to want than to defraud, better to hunger than to lie. Let all who are tempted meet Satan with the words, Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways, for thou shalt eat the labour of thy hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Psalms 128 verses 1 and 2.